Hello everyone. Here's a little video from Novoselivsker in Luhansk showing three Russian vehicles being destroyed. These are tanks, a T-72B, a T-90A and a T-72B3. All of these tanks are seen getting hit by drones. The T-90A is the biggest prize here. I'm actually surprised to see one as I heard Russia was focusing on modernising the older T-90 models to T-90M standard. So I thought these would have been withdrawn for that to happen. These vehicles were all stationary when they were hit by the drones, so this was a case of Ukraine hitting already disabled and abandoned vehicles in order to prevent Russia from potentially recovering them and putting them back into service. So, let's have a look at where this took place. First, I want to clarify these weren't all part of the same failed push. These were destroyed in and around a settlement called Novoselivsk, which is Russian controlled at the moment, but they were all in different locations. So this one's not a big armoured push being destroyed, but rather three tanks carrying out separate operations. So at the top was the T-72B, south of Novoselivsk. We have the T-90A next, further down, which was in the field, and at the very bottom, also in the field, a T-72B front. Here they are on deep states. Each was destroyed close to the front lines, likely carrying out probes or firing missions on Ukrainian positions, at least for the two southernmost ones. With the northernmost one, the old T-72B, looking like it was in transit somewhere, moving somewhere, not sure why. So, three tank losses all around the same settlement, and the source that uploaded it says these are all from the same day. This was here in Ukraine's north, a rather quiet area which I haven't seen much action from for a while. Maybe this little burst of activity here is to test how well defended it is in preparation for a Russian push. Well over 1,000 T-72s of all variants have been destroyed so far, the bulk of which are T-72B3 variants. As for the T-90A, 38 are upon Oryx so far. Russia had 2,000 T-72s in service, but we do reportedly have a lot of these in storage, so I don't think we'll run out of T-72s anytime soon. T-90A, about 350 in service, some now being modernised to T-90M standard. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now before I finish, I'm going to play a video from Sanak about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks so much for watching and take care everybody.